Hey Kindergarten, let's learn how to use Flipgrid today. Our first step is that we're going to want to be in our Kindergarten website. Once you get to our Kindergarten website, you're going to want to find Click for Weekly Activities. Go down to May 4th to May 8th and click here. Once you get to this page, you're going to scroll down and find Tuesday. Once you find Tuesday, you're gonna find a picture that looks like this, that says ORCA 2020. Check out this flip grid, click on it. It's going to lead you to a new page where it says flip grid, ORCA 2020, and it'll have your teacher's names up here. It's gonna ask you for a password, ask your family member, to give you the password, we have emailed it to them. Have them write it down on a post-it or a piece of paper that you can get to next time. I've just put my password in and when I'm done, I'm gonna hit this button that says, let's go. It's gonna lead us to our page. And you're gonna scroll down and you'll see a little message from me or any other teacher that posts on here. You're gonna hit this button right here and it's gonna play my message. I want you to, to listen and hear what it has to say and then I'll have a little, a little response right here. If you don't wanna read it, you can also just hit this, this little blue button and it'll read it for you. It says, hi everyone, add a response to my video. If you scroll down some more, you'll see this big green button and you're gonna hit it, that way you can make a response to my video. It looks like Ms. Burrells has already made a response. So you're gonna click right here. It's going to ask you to log in with a Google account. That account is your school at email address. One big tip is remember to press right here where it says, remember me. This way you don't always have to log in with your email address. You're gonna hit login with school with Google. Maybe one of your um, school accounts is up just like mine right here, but if it isn't, you it's this is what it's gonna look like for you. You're gonna type in your school email address and then hit next. It's gonna say login successful and look what right here. We have another camera. This camera is going to open up and you're gonna be able to record some things on it. You are gonna hit right here, this record button, and you're gonna be able to record yourself. So let's give it a try. Hey teachers, once you are done with that, you can hit this button next, or if you didn't like it, you can hit a redo. I'm gonna hit next and it's gonna show you. It's gonna show you what you did. You can hit add more if you're like, wait, hold on, I forgot to add something. So you can hit add more and you can add some more. I just wanted to add more and you're gonna hit pause. And there's a little features right here, like stickers that you can use. You can add a little sticker right over here and you can move it. And then if you're all good with that, hit next. And then you can see your, your review and you're gonna hit next one more time. And then it's gonna ask you to take a selfie of yourself. So get ready to take a selfie. And then you're gonna hit next if you enjoy that selfie. If you don't like it, you can hit redo. Now, it's gonna ask you to put your display name. I'm gonna put Miss Wynn. And then I'm gonna hit this red button that says submit video. It says congrats, Miss Wynn. So it is gonna send it to your teachers so we can improve the video. And then you're gonna hit complete. And then your video will pop up right over here, just like Ms. Burrell's video does when, you, when we approve of it. Let's see what Ms. Burrell has to say. 
I'm going to show you how you can reply to a friend's message. I'm just going to put that on pause. And this is how I can reply to Miss Burrell's. I'm going to hit this green button that says reply. And I can either take a picture of myself or I can just record. Hey, Miss Burrell's. And then I'm going to hit next. And then I'm going to hit next again if I enjoy that video. And then I'm going to take another silly selfie. And then if I like that selfie, I'm going to hit next. And it says, don't close the window. You're going to have to type in your name again. So I'm going to put Miss Quinn. And then I'm going to submit this video. And then just like again, your teachers are going to review this video and then it will pop up. When you're all done, you're going to hit complete. And that is how you use Flipgrid. Ask your teachers if you have any questions about that. Have so much fun. Bye.